You know, I like to think that, that simply reasoning with people works, but, but it works with 50% of people, but um, how many people voted for Bush last time? <laughs> Uh, regarding regarding your ultimate 747 argument, it seems that despite their despite the complexity of human brains and computers and other such uh, intelligent pieces of matter, there there seems to be a, a common I idea that minds are simple things with complex ideas. And I wondered if you had any thoughts on that. Well, sorry, that minds are simple things. <laughs> Yes, with complex, with complex ideas. I wonder if you had any thoughts on um, that. That's not an idea that resonates with me. Um, it seems to me that a mind is a rather complex thing. Uh, you, would, would you disagree with that? No, I, no, I agree entirely. <laughs> so, so are, are you saying that there are people who think minds are simple? Yes. Um, <laughs> well, I don't really know what to say about that, because, because it's, it seems to me to be almost self-evidently false, but, but uh, um, and I think you, you agree. Yeah. Well, that's good. We, we agree. I, I don't want to be flippant about it, but I can't quite see the point. Sorry, I, 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 don't, I don't want to, be, to, to dismiss this question, I just don't understand. Is, is there a certain philosopher or somebody who says that? Oh, um, I know, I know William Lane Craig has, has said that. I don't oh, well, okay. 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 I mean, if, if the point being made is that a mind can be very simple, and therefore by implication a god can be very simple, and therefore the ultimate 747 argument falls, um, you, could, you just about might get away with that for some sort of uh, deistic or quasi-pantheistic God. But for the God of somebody like Mr. Craig, who is a Christian after all, who intervenes, he's an interventionist God, he reads your thoughts, he listens to your prayers, he forgives your sins, he obsesses about your sex life. That's not simple. That's got to be complex. Okay. I think you might have already answered this, but recently I was listening to you on your Spencer Public Radio, and you were talking about Gallup poll that was released um, about where maybe 50% of Americans believe the world to be only 6,000 years old. Um, I was wondering if you could comment more on that, and if you think that maybe it's not such a problem with religion, but just lack of education. Like, yeah. How many of those people would think, could name the closest planet to the sun or something? Yeah, like? um, that's a good point. I, I have never wished to suggest that false beliefs of that kind are reflections of stupidity. Um, ignorance is no crime, and if people are that ignorant, I, th I think you're right, it's got to be mostly ignorance. Uh, it, it's ignorance fostered and fermented and encouraged and watered and fertilized by systematic religious subversion, well-financed, tax-free. <laughs> And so, those deliberate purveyors of misinformation are not blameless. But the great majority of people who are taken in by them probably are blameless, because as I say, ignorance is no crime. And the fault then perhaps falls on, on us, on scientists, for not getting out there enough and explaining and uh, showing people. It's not just... It's not just a matter of destroying their beliefs, it's a matter of showing them something better because the, the scientific worldview, especially as we now have it at the beginning of the 21st century, is, is a rapturously exciting and wonderful experience just to imbibe it into your head. The, to, to know the place of this planet, a tiny planet in a small solar system, in an average galaxy, in a universe of galaxies, possibly a multiverse of many universes, to know that we are the product of nearly four billion years of gradual evolution. Four billion years. To know that the continents are moving a 
across the face of the earth that South America and Africa are drawing apart from each other at the speed with which fingernails grow. To know that there are 25 miles of neuron, of, of nerve cell axons in one brain, more probably. These are riveting things to learn. These are things that no child could possibly fail to be enthralled by if it were properly explained. And people who have been fobbed off with a second-rate parochial, mind-numbingly arid view deriving from medieval and pre-medieval and Bronze Age superstition. And it's still going on in the space age, in the age of the Human Genome Project, in the age of the CERN Collider at Geneva. This is a human tragedy that children are being deprived of this glorious experience of understanding the world in which they live. So it's almost an aesthetic duty on scientists to get out there and tell people about these wonders.